Hi, Jeff. Well, hello, Karen. How are you? Nice to see you. Wonderful. Good to see you. Well, I'm glad to talk to you on this special occasion. I mean, congratulations on your book. Thank you. I'm very, very excited. It's fun being a published author. It's the first time. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, I, my 28-year career as a film critic, you know, the only thing I haven't done has been published. And it's, it's a dream of mine. But, man, I, I just have so much admiration for anyone who can publish a book or write a book and you're you're on that list, you know, because I don't have the discipline yet to do something like that. So can well for me part of it was the pandemic. I, oh. you know, yeah. I I I I I the way I got to write it, I finally people have been telling me for many years I should write a book. Um but I finally did um after a Columbia College Chicago Zoom meeting and one of the students said, You've got to write a book about how to win an Emmy. And I said, You can't write a book about how to win an Emmy, but <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. It, yeah. It, 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 I, I was just gonna say, you know, I did the opposite during the pandemic. I, I said I'm gonna read a book, one book a month, and I, I could still see the seven books that are sitting over there that I never <laughs> touched, you know. I went the Netflix route, you know, so I watched more television than I did read. So I did a lot of that too. So <laughs> I applaud you. So but when you began to write your book, how hard it was it to choose uh, which stories to include and were stories coming back to you, you hadn't thought of in a long time? Because sometimes when I speak to people, you know, and they remind me of a story that happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. It actually was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It just kind of flowed out of me. But one of the things I did was before I started writing, I wrote to a bunch of colleagues and family. And I said, send me your memories, which they did. And that's included in the book. So that's that was kind of fun. I ended up not using, I used them in the book, but I didn't use them for my story. So I wrote a chapter and then I ended up at the end of the writing saying, well, let me put these in at the end of the chapter where they fit. And that, that was fun. And some of the memories they came up with, I had no memory of. <laughs> I'm, I'm in that club. I'm like, that really happened? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, and how would you describe your job to an average person? Because I know when I tell people I'm a film critic, it's like their eyes light up. And, you know, I've been talked on the red eye from New York to Las Vegas before, and they never stopped talking to me. But and were they always impressed? Of who? Were they all? I don't know. I didn't pay any attention. I'm finding... More people are, now that I've written the book, I'm quite amazed at how many people are impressed. But while I was living it, I really was not, <laughs> I was not that aware. When I, when I won an Emmy, I knew that was a big deal. And when I won eight Emmys, I knew that was a big deal. But I think like you, Jeff, I mean, you just go on with life and you don't stop and say, oh, gee, this was an accomplishment. You just keep going. And that's what I did, which was fun chronicling in the book. And I always tell people, you know, and then I'm starting my 28th year as a critic. I mean, it never stops. It's this insane merry-go-round. There's always movies, always television, always whatever. Entertainment never stops, and and it's just it's just this ending flow of of content. And uh, it's 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 hard to believe, you know, when you I watch a movie late at night, and I'm like, why is this familiar? I'm like, oh, I did those interviews 20 years ago, <laughs> and I recognize that. So. Of all your encounters, you just have so many fascinating stories. Did any leave a lasting impression on you? Uh, many did. That's why they wrote the book. Working with Bob Hope and going around the world on his USO tour was extraordinary. Um, I have a fun story in the book about Lily Tomlin and uh, her her becoming during a Christmas tree lighting uh, special. She became Edith Ann and and didn't and kind of kicked her feet and said, I don't think I'm going to do this. And it was strictly an Edith Ann and we, and we, we worked it out. Um, Rod Serling was an extraordinary gentleman to work with. It was just a real honor to work with him. He was always, you know, doing nice things. And meeting the Dalai Lama was the first or second time in the United States. And I didn't know who he was at the time, but our religion editor, Russ Barber, said, you got to meet him. And you'll see in the book, there's a picture of, of me, me meeting him. And now I know it was one of the most special parts of my life. Well, I was going to say, Hollywood is all lights and cameras and glitz and glamour, but this was a spiritual journey for you as well, right? Right. Well, and, and, and the stories that I just told were all when I was living in New York. I was program director at WNBC in New York. Um, and Hollywood is a whole nother. <laughs> I, I, my, it's a whole nother. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
a whole, a whole nother adventure. I've been very, very fortunate in all the experience I've had. And one of the things I did in the book was I stopped and I explained to people what a producer does, what a director does, what a production assistant does. And I, one of the nicest compliments I got recently was somebody who said, I'm going to look at credits differently now that I've read your book. <laughs> and well, good. That was part of the purpose to, to understand some of this stuff. I treat those production assistants gently because I was one for many years. I, I was a production. Everyone starts at the bottom, don't they? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and internship and working for free. Well, you can't do that as much now as as you could when oh, you and I were. I did internships at our local ABC affiliate and Fox affiliate. I ran cameras. I did all that stuff while going through school and, and learning broadcasting and and all of that. And you know, it really makes you because also it makes connections for you too and and lasting and long friendships as well. So internships are fascinating. But I love when you start at the bottom and then you look back like you have on your career and just see all the amazing accomplishments that you've had. And all the wonderful people that I've met along the way. Absolutely. And, and like you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah. And we've known each other many years now, haven't we? It's probably close to, close to 20. Oh yes. It's been a long time, hasn't it? And also the title of your book, it has special meaning for you too, right? It does. It's About Time was what, well, when I won my first Emmy was when I was at WMAQ TV in Chicago. Um, I had been nominated many, 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 many times. And when I went to accept it, I, what I said was, it's been a long time. But what I meant was, it's about time. And so that's why I titled the book that. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm in that club with you. I have two Emmys as well. But you know what? I was nominated twice and I've won twice, but that's over a 28-year period. So when they say you're nominated, you know, it is truly an honor. And it's even more of an honor when you win one because... You think every year when you submit your shows and everything, you got a winner, but you know what? It's it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> I'm impressed that you you won twice. You nom were nominated twice and won twice. <laughs> yes, I know. How how many times I was nominated? Oh, I know. It's not. It's just it, it, if you let it get to you, you can go out of your mind thinking about that. But you know what? It's not about the awards. It's not about the, the recognition. It's about I love your attitude about a spiritual journey, and it's about the friendships and the people you've met and the influence they've had on you. And, you know, that's what you take away from that, and that's what I love about this this book. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, it was, it, it's fun doing it. And now it's fun promoting it and letting people know about it. And where can people find your book? Is it everywhere books are sold? Uh, no, it's on Amazon.com. It's a big one. <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. I self-published. And it's because I didn't want to wait for a publisher. It was, I just wanted to get it out there. And you can also go to my website, Karen Lee Cohen, K-A-R-E-N-L-E-E-C-O-H-E-N.com. And there's a link to Amazon on that too. Wonderful. Well, Karen, thank you so much for joining me today and congratulations on your efforts. I understand you have your second book underway. I am. I'm starting to write up an alternative health and wellness book. So I'll keep you posted on that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining today and uh, we'll talk again soon. Okay. Great pleasure. Thank you, Jeff.